Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to restore our database from a backup file for the TurboLister software. There are a couple of reasons that you may have to at some point restore your database. And your database comprises of inventory, waiting to upload, and activity log. You could be working with a corrupted user file and you have to basically start from scratch and you don't want to have to recreate all your items. So that's why it's very important to have created backup files. So in order to restore, it's a very simple process. You're going to go up here to your file menu. You're going to select Restore Database. You need to click the Browse button. Now if you never ch changed where you saved your database to, it's going to show up in your Documents section under TurboLister Backup. Sometimes folks, when they create their backups, they'll create it to a flash drive or a, an external hard drive of some sort. I always recommend saving it to the default location and then later, if you have to, copying and pasting the files to a different system, like the external, like to a flash drive, things like that. Um, it's very handy here. It has my eBay ID and the date that I did the backup, and that's because I didn't change the, the name when I created the, the backup. It's very handy this way too, if you have more than one eBay account and you've created multiple backups, as long as you're not changing the labeling system, it's going to show you, you know, what it is. So this one could be user one account. Maybe I have three other eBay accounts, so I'm going to have different IDs before the date. And that way you can kind of tell which file is going to have what information. Now, if you remember from the creating a backup video, we saw that there was a TLB file and an IMB file. When you're restoring from a backup, you're only going to see the TLB file. You don't have anything to do with the IMB. That information gets pulled in um, automatically on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm going to click once. It's going to fill it in. I'm going to select open. Click next. Now there are a couple different options you could do here. You could just add the backup items to the user. That's going to add all the information within that file to your inventory section. You can delete any information that you have here and replace it with the backup, or you can replace current user preferences with backup preferences. So let's say maybe I took the time to create a bunch of defaults and I don't want to have to recreate them. So if you select this, that's going to replace whatever you currently have because maybe you just started fresh again and you don't have anything and you don't want to take the time to recreate it. You can go ahead and check mark this. It's going to replace with anything that you already had in your system at the time of the backup. Next, you're going to click Restore. Restore completed successfully. You want to keep in mind the more items you have, the longer it can take. I only had one item when I created the backup earlier. So this was a very quick restoration process. Generally, if you have a couple hundred, upwards of a thousand items or so, it's going to kind of sit here for a while. And sometimes people think that that means there's something wrong with the backup. Generally, there's a lag, a lag time. So it might just sit for a little bit and then eventually go to decompressing and then start the, the backup process or the, the restore process. Just keep in mind, the more items you have, the more images you have, the, the more length you have within the description itself, HTML coding, all that good stuff, that's going to determine how long it's going to take to restore that information. Just keep that in mind. Now we're going to close. You'll see here that there is a restored from folder. It currently says zero. Um, don't worry about that. If you click on the plus sign, you'll see my items. And what happens is you're not going to see the, the all items doesn't get included in the backup because what it's doing is it's including anything, any subfolders that it has. So the my items folder had one. My original my items that was already here had one, so I now have two within my all items because again, all items sees any information within the sub menus, the subfolders beneath it. The restore process will maintain the folder hierarchy that was there when you created a backup. However, it will be within this restored from folder. So if you needed to, you could you know, go into the folder that you're wanting to move. If you wanted to, you could remove this folder or any of these folders. 
So in order to show you what I mean, I'm going to have to rename this folder because right now these have the same uh, names. So I'm going to rename this folder. You know, just whatever for now. So click and drag up to my items, and there you go. It moves it out from this one. Then you could delete this folder. You want to be sure when you're deleting folders within Turbolister that either you've cleared out all the content or it doesn't have any content. Because if you delete a folder and it has items in it, you will lose those items. We know because we clicked into it that there's nothing left here. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes to get rid of it. And now I just have my two folders with my two items. And that, folks, is how you restore items to your Turbolister database from a backup file. Keep watching for more videos on how to stock up your eBay arsenal.